Turning now to the investigation into the January 6th attack on the Capitol, NBC News has obtained more video of congressional leaders on that day. The January 6th committee played a portion of the never-before-seen footage la in, at last week's hearing. In this clip, you can hear House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on the phone with then-Vice President Pence. Well, that they're still not safe enough for us to go back, that they're even still trying to uh, uh, penetrate the building, and, and uh, it's not a safe thing, because we're trying to figure out how we can get this job done today. I worry about you being in that Capitol building. I'm at the Capitol building. I'm literally standing with uh, the chief of police of, uh, of the U.S. Capitol Police Department. Uh, I'm standing with the Will inform you that their best information is that they believe that uh, the House and the Senate will be able uh, to reconvene in roughly an hour. Uh, they, they also confirmed to me they have thousands of law enforcement. They're confident that they can secure the process. Wow. Wow. Meanwhile, two members of the House Select Committee were asked on the Sunday shows what will happen if former President Trump refuses to comply with the panel's upcoming subpoena. I won't engage in any hypotheticals at this moment as the subpoena hasn't yet even been served. But what I will say is that with previous subpoenas, what you've seen the committee do is be very deliberate and take the response to our subpoenas on a case-by-case -case basis. And I imagine that we will also do that um, because we understand the seriousness of the charge of our committee. That's a bridge we cross if we have to get there. Um, you know, look, we well recognize the fact that uh, because of the committee only being able to exist till the end of this congressional year, because that was the uh, the mandate, uh, we're at a bit of a time limit here. And uh, as we're wrapping up the investigation, we're also pursuing new leads and facts, and we're, we want to speak to the president. Look, if he, he's made it clear he has nothing to hide is what he says. So he should come in uh, on the day we ask him to come into. If he pushes off beyond that, uh, we'll figure out what to do next. So, Jonathan, let me hear a couple of things. First of all, respond to the new video that keeps coming out uh, from from uh, January the 6th. Just an absolutely fascinating moment where Nancy Pelosi uh, pleading uh, to Mike Pence to, to be safe and not let anybody know exactly where he is. Secondly, the subpoena from Congress to Donald Trump. Is that something that he can just sort of push away and let the time run out? First of all, on Pelosi, every clip we see here shows just how in control and in command she was that day. Truly a remarkable performance from the speaker and also a genuine and human one. Let's recall, as we just heard her check on Mike Pence, wishing him safety. You know who didn't do that that day? Donald Trump. The president of the United States never reached out to the vice president knowing that he was in danger. You know. Pence's staff reached out to Mark Meadows. They were expressed frustration that Trump had not done so. They felt Trump was endangering the vice president because he wasn't doing anything to call off his supporters who were ransacking the Capitol. And also to Pelosi's point about not letting anyone know where he was precisely. Short did the same in that call with Meadows. Didn't want to say exactly where the vice president was because they weren't sure who to trust. And that includes members, let's recall, of the Secret Service. Pence didn't want to get in that car to leave the Capitol because he didn't know where it would go. And he also didn't want to be seen as fleeing because he knew he still had the American people's duty to take care of that day in terms of certifying the vote. As far as Trump goes, this does seem like his strategy is to run out the clock. Yes, we saw the media report last week saying, oh, he might want to testify and set the record straight. Nobody believes that. He's not going to set foot in front of Congress and take under oath answer questions. He's not going to do There's no upside for him there. It doesn't seem like there's much in the way of teeth uh, to the subpoena that the Congress has, the committee has, to try to bring Trump uh, forward. Um, so this is something that's going to play out in the coming weeks. And we know, clock is ticking. Kitziger and Cheney mm -hmm. both leaving Congress at the end of the year, and there is at least a decent chance that Republicans will control the body come January, and they'll certainly shut it down. Yeah, and, and Mika, again, the contrast, as Jonathan pointed out, is really staggering. Here you have Nancy Pelosi, who Nancy and Mike agree probably on very few things, but they do both uh, agree on, at least on that day, about supporting American democracy. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and Mike Pence did uh, before that fighting, uh, fighting. Um, but there you have Nancy Pelosi uh, pleading with, with the vice president of the United States 
the, the Republican vice president of the United States, to be careful and not reveal his location. She was genuinely worried about him. You saw that on the video. And then you have Donald Trump, who, when he knows Mike Pence is in danger, when he knows people are shouting, he hang Mike Pence, he knows that Mike Pence is on the move yeah. out of the chamber. He chooses that time to tweet an attack on Mike mm. Pence that he knew would only rile up the crowd more. Again, just Republicans stop for a second and just think about that fact that Nancy Pelosi, this woman that you love to vilify, that she's actually worried about Mike Pence's health and his well-being. Well, Donald Trump, the former president that you, so many of you unfortunately continue to worship in this strange cult-like way, actually tried to bring harm to Mike Pence that day. Chance of hang Mike Pence. The president learns Mike Pence is on the move. He then tweets something that will rile up the crowd, make it more likely that Mike Pence and his family will be caught, captured by the angry mob, per, possibly killed, because that's exactly what they say they want to do. Uh, and, and that's Donald Trump. And, and don't tease yourself that Mike Pence's life wasn't in danger because it was in danger. Well, I hear some of you telling me that you don't think it was ever in danger. Really, it makes me sad for you yeah. because you, you know you're lying to yourself and that must, uh, that must, really, it must really be difficult for you to lie to yourself because you want to defend the honor of a failed reality TV show host who lost the White House for Republicans, who lost the Senate for Republicans, who lost the House for Republicans, who's going to lose if he runs again. And it's just, it, it's really just, it's, it's staggering. The, the loyalty to a man that has shown no loyalty to anybody, yeah. including his, his vice president, whose life was in danger and whose own Secret Service people were saying that day, they're calling home to their families saying goodbye to him because they didn't think they were going to survive. I, I don't know what the prospects are for this happening, but it would be great to hear from former President Trump under oath on these issues.